let's face it, charcuterie boards are basically just a Lunchable for adults. So in this video, I wanted to create my own version of the Lunchable charcuterie board for kids to take to school. So we're just gonna get right into the ingredients that I have here. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Jordan and this is Amazing Grace Boards. And on this channel, I build charcuterie boards. I try and get as creative as I can and get inspired by others to make my own boards so that you can watch and get some inspiration of your own. So if that is something you like, please consider subscribing. So let's jump right in. These are very basic. You know, in a Lunchable, you've got about four compartments and they're gonna consist of a cracker, a protein, and a dairy, which is basically the cheese. And then if you've got the really fun, exciting Lunchables, when I was a kid, the best ones had a drink and a sweet, but today we're not gonna fit a, a drink inside. We have this adorable stainless steel, kind of like a bento box, and this has five compartments. So I'm, so I'm gonna do my best to try and figure out how it looks. Of course, we're going for a look, but we also wanna keep every component, like a cracker. I've got ham and turkey, and then I've got two different types of cheeses, which are just a, they're both cheddar. So I have a white cheddar, and then I have a yellow cheddar, and then I have um, some snap peas. So I'm gonna try and get in a vegetable and a fruit in if I can, depending again on the, the space that I have inside this. But here is uh, some strawberries and then I have these fun green snack peas, like the little, I don't know, it's just a cracker basically. And then I have ranch, which I just already put in a small container. And then candy. So I got these from Trader Joe's. It's basically just M&Ms some very tiny gummy bears. And I have some ideas of what I might do with this. Since this won't fit in my bento bin, it's okay. But I might do like a cookie cutter, which is the last thing that I was gonna show you. So I have the fun shaped silicone um, cupcake bins. I have these <laughs> adorable little sushi dividers. We'll see if I can figure out where I can put those. And then I found these cute toothpicks from Amazon. And they're like just this leaf shape so again i'm trying to use the adorable things i've got some cookie cutters for um and letter cookie cutters that i will link everything that i've got on amazon in the description below um, including the ingredients that i am using but one if your kid hates snap peas it's obvious switch out for carrots or anything else that they love same thing goes with the meats and the cheeses this is all just what i know my kids will absolutely eat but also just kind of sticking with the same theme of an actual Lunchable. So I'm excited, let's jump right into this video. All right, so here I am going to start cookie cutting some cheese. So I think I've got a flower, a flower shape that I found and I will link the little cookie cutter sets I found on Amazon. I actually use these quite often and uh, they're great. So I've got yellow cheddar and white cheddar and I'm just going to make as many as I can comfortably. And of course, all of the excess gets used. My husband and I eat this. It definitely doesn't get wasted, but it feels like it when you're creating these adorable boards or bento boxes, because the reality is, is there could be waste if we are not careful. Anyway, here I'm going to make these adorable little ham and turkey roses. So what I'm doing is I am basically folding the ham in half and rolling it up. I think I ended up cutting literally the whole roll in half and I'm just using these cute leaf toothpicks that I found on Amazon to hold them together. So they look like adorable little roses and I <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. The look is so cute and I love these toothpicks. I cannot wait to use them on fruit and all kinds of other things for the kids. So I'm just getting the turkey set up now and of course you've got extra because I was trying to make all the roses the same height. Now you don't have to get as extreme as I was, but of course I wanted to make it look as 
uniformed as possible. So I think I've got my last toothpick available. Um, yeah, actually, I think I ended up making one. So the little pack comes with one, like a toothpick, and then the other one had a double fork or a double stick on it. So I broke one off just so that I can use it to make six even numbered roses. So that is where I'm starting off. And now I'm going to fill in our cracker part. So I just kind of, I know these will probably move as they are transported in lunch, but during lunch, but I figured I would just kind of make a cute little pattern. And now I'm putting down my cheese. So I'm putting down the little flower cheeses next to the meat, just going back and forth with the different colors and changing it up which is so cute. I mean, I wish someone would make this for me every day because this is just too darling. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna get these snap peas in. I wanna feed my kids vegetables and this is the way to do it. My kids love snap peas and homemade ranch. I always make a homemade ranch dressing. So I'm gonna split it down the middle. Um, it is kind of hard and looks like it's very dangerous, but don't worry. I was being careful, I promise. And I am gonna fill that cute little star silicone cup. It's like a cupcake tin, and I'm gonna fill it up with our ranch dressing. But here, I'm just trying to make it look cute and fit inside so you can get an exposed snap pea. So that is one of my best ways to put on snap peas on a board is to expose the top parts. And of course the excess I will eat later with ranch. So now I'm filling in my silicone, just kind of spreading it out as well as I can, just cause you can see the shape when you actually spread it all along these adorable silicone tins, uh, bins, not bins, what am I calling them? Cups, it just, you can see, you can actually see the shape. So here I am uh, trying to figure out, cause I, I wanted candy, I wanted fruit, and then I also forgot that I had the the snap pea crackers. So I, I really wanted to get those in there, so I was trying to figure out how to do that. But as of now, I gave up. I made sure that I cut some strawberries lengthwise and uh, put those in the middle tin. And now I wanted to just put a cute little note for my kids. And I wanted to write, I love you, I heart you. Pretty sure that was a C. I couldn't find the U at the time, but doesn't matter. You get the idea. I love them and it's a fruit leather. So they're gonna eat that before they even notice I put a C instead of a U. <laughs> so um, now I'm going to, again, save all the scraps for mom and dad. And I, I think now I'm probably realizing, okay, yep, gotta get these on. So the silicone, that's what I love about the silicone cups is that they can literally mold to any shape you want. So instead of the round, I kind of just made sure I pushed it aside to push it down in a rectangular shape. So that is it. This is the adorable, super fun and healthy little Lunchable for your kids. So I hope you enjoyed this video and get inspired and create something adorable for your kids when they go back to school.